In today's video, we're going to compare two luxury streetwear brands. The first one being Essentials by Fear of God, and the second one over here is Represent Clothing, a UK-based brand. And as always, I like to keep it as fair as possible, so obviously these two pieces are very similar. And of course, if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, leave a thumbs up on this video, and comment down below as well if you've picked up Represent Clothing or Essentials by Fear of God in the past. You know I love to put timestamps down below for you guys so you can skip to the part you're most interested in, but as always, I recommend watching the full video. I like to put both of these brands in a category I like to consider as luxury streetwear. So in order to break down what luxury streetwear means to me, let me break it down into a tier system for you guys. At the bottom of your list is your regular streetwear brands. This is your Babe Supreme and Palace. The next level is what I like to consider the mid-tier luxury streetwear brands, like Represent Clothing and Essentials. And the final tier we have is the luxury streetwear brands that I've actually tiptoed between streetwear and high fashion. These are your Louis Vuittons, your Gucci's, your Prada's, your Dior's, and all that fun stuff. The reason I consider these luxury streetwear as well is because they're considered to be more premium products products that offer something better than your average streetwear brand. They have daily essential pieces that are on trend and fashionable but also use higher quality materials or at least that's what they like to say. So that is my tier system on luxury streetwear. Now let's cover the items themselves and the price points. This Essentials Nick Crew Neck is no stranger to anybody that loves Fear of God but over here we have the Essentials Nick Crew Neck with the Essentials branding on the front in a size extra small. These are around 145 Canadian dollars plus applicable taxes. Next up we have the Knitted Represent Crew Neck which came in at 155 Canadian dollars and 26 dollars for shipping. It's important to note that this was the sale price of the item and not the actual price because I picked it up on Black Friday. The true price of this item here is around 260 Canadian dollars. I know you guys might be thinking that the represent one is a little bit too steep in price but let's have a closer look at each garment before actually trying it on and let me break down the material composite as well for you guys. First up is the essentials knit. As you guys can see it's a nice knitted pattern all the way across the entire hoodie that's woven in. You have a nice rib collar over here and the essentials tag on the inside. In terms of the branding this is the standout piece over here with essentials actually knitted into the garment. Here's a look at the inside of the crew neck. As you guys can see the knit pattern is done very tightly so when you put it on it's not going to pull or unravel. It is important to note that it actually does start to pill after a few wears very easily so that is one of the flaws of the essential pieces over here. And in terms of the material composite and where it was made, this was made in China with 60% cotton and 40% polyester. What you're seeing right now is a close-up of the represent clothing sweater. As you can see here the material is entirely different. I'm going to break that down a little later but let's appreciate the details behind it. In terms of the overall weight of this garment over here, it is a lot lighter than the Essentials crew neck. We still have the rib neck. The knit here is even tighter than the Essentials one. And of course, the standout thing of this piece over here is the represent clothing branded across the front of the crew neck. This is also woven into the garment. There's also an additional branding on the crew neck with a metal tag at the bottom which says represent clothing in it. This knitwear piece is woven very tightly. And as you can see here, the same texture on the outside continues to the inside unlike the Essentials crew neck. Now in terms of where this item was made and the overall material composite of it, we're looking at 40% nylon, 30% baby alpaca, and 30% merino wool. This item was actually made in Portugal. So in terms of the overall manufacturing process and the materials used in it, you can see why the price point is a lot higher compared to the Essentials one. We all love to look at the pieces, but let's also look at the packaging. First up, we have the Fear of God packaging that comes in this translucent bag here, and Fear of God branded across the front of the bag. Next up, we have the Represent packaging. As you can see, the branding is a lot bolder on this one compared to the Essentials one, but it also features the translucent bag. Now you guys might not care about this but this bag here is actually biodegradable while the essentials one is not. Now comes the fun part, trying these pieces on. Now let's quickly go over my dimensions before putting these on. I'm 5'5", 135 pounds and I have a slim build. First up is the essentials knitted crew neck in an extra small. This piece here has an oversized fit but as you can see here the ribbing is very tight so it comes in towards the bottom. I usually just roll up the ribbing to give it a nice flowy look. The sleeves are nice and oversized and loose as well so they droop down a bit. You can either pull it up like this or you can just tuck the cuff in and it gives it a nice clean look as well. In terms of the overall feel on the body, I really love the lining on the inside because the knit doesn't bother me too much and overall it keeps me really warm. It has a nice weight to it, sometimes sweaters can be just too bulky and it feels like it's dragging you down, but overall this has a nice medium weight to it. Something that I really like about the Essentials Crew Necks is the tight collars. Personally, I don't like the wider collars as it doesn't suit me too well. Even though I've worn this a few times, the collar hasn't stretched out so I do appreciate how this piece is held up over time. Aside from the pilling, the piece is held up well for about a year now. Next up, on body is a represent knitted crew neck in an extra small. So on the website it does state that these pieces are oversized but as you can see compared to the essentials one this is tailored more to actually structure your body. As you can see in the arms here it does slim down towards the front. It still fits me exactly the same in the shoulders as the essentials one did. One more thing to note is that the ribbing at the bottom is actually looser compared to the essentials one so it flows nicer. I probably still will roll it up to give it a crop look. So in comparison to the essentials one the represent one does feel different on body because of the material composite. Since this garment is using wool 
wool, it might feel a little itchy at first. If wool is irritating to your skin, then this piece might not be for you. Now, in my opinion, this one is a lot classier in comparison to the Essentials one. You can definitely dress this up for a nice dinner if you wanted to. The Represent Clothing crew neck actually reminds me of some of the sweaters that I wear to work. And just like the Essentials one, the collar is nice and tight, so it fits really good. Because of the material breakdown of this item over here, the care instructions say hand washing it, and you do have to take extra care of it if you want it to hold up over time. Now that the try-on is over, let me give you guys my final thoughts on Represent Clothing and Essentials by Fear of God. In the past, Represent Clothing was very similar to Minimal in terms of copying the Fear of God aesthetic. Over the years, they've definitely branched out from where they've started and created their own aesthetic. As of today, I don't think they're actually mimicking Fear of God, even with pieces like this, I just think that they're going with the trends that are happening right now. If you look at the Blank Collection or the Owners Club Collection, you can see that they have oversized pieces similar to Fear of God, but that is just the current trend that's taking place. If you look at their website, they have a ton of items including high-end workout clothing. Even though both these pieces are considered on the higher end in terms of price point, I would say if you're on a budget, stick to Essentials by Fear of God. If you're looking for quality, then definitely go with Represent Clothing. In my opinion, Represent Clothing is a lot better than Essentials by Fear of God. With Essentials, you're definitely paying for a little bit of hype attached to it, but if you guys look at the newer collections from Essentials by Fear of God, they're very repetitive and the quality is actually decreased over time. Now even though the Represent Clothing one is at a higher price point, the materials definitely make up for it. In my opinion, I can actually say I'm getting a high-end and almost borderline luxury item. In terms of the overall garment fit and the overall manufacturing process and even the material composite, Represent Clothing does focus more on that compared to the Essentials by Fear of God. If you own a few pieces of Essentials by Fear of God, then you already know that you're just paying for new shades that you might be interested in and not new items. Essentials was made for everyday wear, so in terms of new items dropping anytime soon, you're probably going to see new colors before you see a new garment. And since Essentials is not available in Europe, I can see why people gravitate towards the Represent clothing. Now something to note about Represent here is that they actually cover the import charges and the taxes depending on where you live. So if you thought the price points were a little too steep, that's a little way to offset it. And that is everything I had to say. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Would you choose Represent clothing or Essential if you had to choose one over the other? As you guys are aware, I did buy a bunch of things from the core collection, so that doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying Essentials. It just means from time to time, I'm definitely going to save up for some Represent and clothing. And as always, I'm super grateful for your support on this channel. It's your support that allows me to make reviews like this for you guys. We're on the road to 10k and I definitely see us hitting that in 2022. If you plan to watch more videos today on YouTube, then definitely check out one of the recommended ones at the end of this video. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.